Hi, it's Hazel. Welcome to my channel, Hazel and Aka Design. I am um, <laughs> carrying on with this early journal flip through. I, again, did not peek, so I don't know what these are. So let's rediscover this together um, in the hopes of, um, well, number one, providing a reminder to myself as to what I did. I'll just change this angle a smidge, sorry. Um, what I did, what I have learned, what I've forgotten and maybe need to, um, you know, try again, as well as provide the reassurance to you, especially if you're new, that this too shall pass, that if you feel that, um, how will you ever learn everything? What if you leave something out? What if you put too much in? What if you, you know, screw up in some way? Let me just say that in the long run, none of that matters. The, the um, trajectory through which, or yeah, I guess through which we move Determ uh, is determined by a lot of things. Our personal taste, our uh, desire to keep learning and getting better, our standards, like what we, are we happy doing mediocre? Or do, we, do we do crap? Or do we evolve to um, a higher level of uh, performance. I know it's it's uh, it's almost a bad word in this community to say that, but um, it seems to me that you can be free and um, e experimental and go for it and all of that without making. Um, without making crap. <laughs> um, so another, what I guess I'm trying to spit out here, and it's not coming very, I'm not very eloquent today, is the idea that no matter what your style, what your building blocks are, what your supplies and, and uh, materials are, no matter what it is that you're doing, you can either do it with the notion of taking pride in your work and getting better, or you can just keep on keeping on. <laughs> and um, what I think that, and again, you know, type A firstborn um, kind of person, is that I want to keep getting better. And I think this step back, uh, there, this look back is kind of uh, showing me that, hey, there has been some progress. And, you know, I try not to repeat the same mistakes twice uh, because there are new mistakes to keep making. So that's my story and I'm sticking with it. Anyway, didn't mean to start preaching. So this is clearly a little blue hardcover book, a little bit of wear showing on the corners but I must have been taken with its size and its, um, you know, good cover. And obviously love this chintz type fabric, so I used it to hide my signatures. So looks like the inside was very good too, so all I did was use the same fabric to hide the spine area. And let's just see what I put in here. Well, okay, so this is stationary. This is a six by six. This, <laughs> believe it or not, is a, a wedding cake and a bouquet and some champagne glasses. This would have probably been, if you were doing your own stationary, this might have been um, the thank you card or something like that. Oh, I remember loving these pages. Oh, look at, I remember to put a self bookmark in. That doesn't happen very often. Oh, I must have liked the idea so much I did too. Um, so coloring book pages, I just love them. Stationery, 
stationary. Stationary. Eight and a half by 11 stationary. Love Alstrom area, by the way. So it looks like this is just a bunch of paper. <laughs> this is this book is made of paper. Uh, very oh that's probably waxed or this is I think this is upholstery thread thread <clears throat> bought it at you know like Fabricland on uh, comes on a spool different colors love this little image in this planner type layout uh, six by six more of the same pages that's signature one so this is clearly a book that um, <laughs> has no decorating in it. However, it's kind of good to know that it's here, that it could be further decorated. It looks like this, again, was at the same point where I believe that if this is your signature cover, then this is your signature cover. And I bet you, yes siree, look at Same paper, same and probably exactly the same. You know, I think at the time I was watching somebody who, who was doing just that, and um, probably not the best thing in the world, but again, it's a learning process. And this is a cute little book, and it could be uh, just decorated and finished, and or I can just use it as it is. So that one is down. Don't know what this is, other than this is the kind of paper that you might get your uh, cut flowers in. So someone obviously gave me flowers, I love the paper, and it looks so, you know, it hardly needs anything more to it, but that didn't stop me from it. Now, I don't remember to be honest. You know, the problem with using paper like that is that, um, you know, typically they, they wrap it and tape it. So wherever the tape is, the paper gets damaged. So I'm thinking that that might be why I have this little bit of fabric here. I use some of those little butterfly things that uh, you can sometimes get at the dollar store. Here I have more of that same fabric, which is very gauzy. Uh, you can see through it almost. Some free, a freesia cut out, a picture of freesia. I had some of these. Now, don't ask me what T means or why it's there, but it's there. This is a type of ribbon that I had, like a very open weave, um, well, like a woven thing. Um, more of these butterflies. And there's just a dragonfly uh, die cut for the heck of it. Oh, and you know what? This is leather. I did a video on that. Three signatures. And I can see, you know, you probably can't see this, but I can see brush strokes. So I'm sure I sealed this. Because after all, it was just thin paper. But what is this on? I have no idea. So obviously I, I chose um, yellow cardstock for the inside. I see I did a pretty nice job on these. Hmm. More paper on something. Can't tell what. Um, to make a pocket. Use the same paper to cover the spine. And this looks like a Rachel Digital, Rachel Rocks Creations. Don't tell me I actually remembered to print on both sides. Oh, let's mark it. Let's put a check mark somewhere. Um, just some of the paper that I've um, accumulated. Somebody's Digital. Obviously, the flap side of an envelope, something I dyed with a little pocket, more of that same paper. Is it actually identical? Or maybe just from the same kit. This, I don't know what this is. Maybe a digital. Okay, what is this? No, 
idea. This is some sort of, I don't know what kind of thread that is. It's pretty easy to flip pretty fast when there isn't any decorating done. But honestly, this, um, oh, well, see, that's kind of dumb. This is the other side of that envelope. So, <laughs> you know, almost no access. So what a person should do is slit this end open, have it become a side loading, and cover this end up with either washi tape <clears throat> or collage something over it which, it, you know, needs some work. <clears throat> Excuse me. This is one I can see picking up and just, you know, maybe even doing it with you guys as a, you know, decorate it. Just let that be the, the whole point. Just finish decorating them. Um, second signature. It's going to be more of the same, I'm sure. Oh, I did that. This is a digital of some sort. I see I used washi there. <clears throat> Somebody else's digital. <coughs> and you'll notice, and I think I've said it, is that typically if I do buy digitals from them, here's another one of those envelopes, because you know, signatures have to be the same. Um, oh. My goodness, did I put the? This is mine. I love it so much. Did I ever put this digital in a kit and and try to sell it? <laughs> um Anyway, what I was trying to say is that what I prefer in in digitals are these kinds of background pages. I have, you know, obviously those kind as well, especially in the beginning when I didn't have any of my own books. Oh, three signatures. Oh, I probably told you that in the beginning. Yeah, so obviously these envelope flaps are another way to do a tip in, you know, attach something to it. And yeah, look, every signature <laughs> say you're gonna ha you get an envelope and you get an envelope and you get a green stripe and you get a green stripe and you get some pockets. This is a nice little book. Can it afford though with its um, one inch stretching it? Um, can't exactly do too much heavy decorating here, but there are, you know, there are thinner, there are thinner solutions. You know, do some stamping, do some, some ink work, um, do some stenciling. This would be a nice book to work in. Okay, two down. Let's uh, I don't how long have we been on? I think we can do this one yet. Um, so this one is tissue paper. Beautiful tissue paper. I would say on an envelope. And here, looky there, I remembered to attach the ribbon. Just a satin right around glued it down so it's not going anywhere uh, covers a bit of the exposed spine which is okay this is obviously some more napkin on some sort of I don't know what kind of paper that is a couple different oh this is okay I, I don't know what that is this is another napkin this looks like it might be handmade you know handmade paper and then these are napkins and maybe some stamp. I don't know. Why am I guessing? I don't know. I mean, why am I telling you that? I don't know. Yes, I would say this was built on an envelope. This is wallpaper. This is a pocket. <laughs> this is a pocket. 
So it's kind of reinforced. I mean, it's heavy duty as cardstock. Zigzag that across the top. Oh, look at you could lift that up. Um, obviously, I stamped that very beautifully. Love those flourishy type things. More napkin on an altered card. I see that needs a little repair. Uh, this is from, I don't know, an address book maybe, or, or was that the front page in a calendar? I'm not sure. This is wrapping paper that I did some stamping on. Made this little notepad. Dyed paper. Obviously, I didn't know that you're supposed to. <laughs> Uh, keep going so that you have your whole design punched out. Not sure what this is. Maybe scrapbooking paper. I guess this made the cut because it's blue. Looks like a postcard or, or maybe, no, I guess I just, no, I glued a photo. A little ink splatter there. A mandala color. Looks like I'm now having my um, book pages right side up. I don't know if this is adding machine tape for a while there. I was doing that. And this came out of a note, one of those coil notebooks, some sewing uh, paper, sewing pattern, paper, sewing pattern paper. Looks like I was using a fair bit of dyed paper. <clears throat> oh, look at this fancy dancy thing. These little Funky, flirty, and funny. Hmm. And ink splatter. Forgot I ever did that. Uh, dictionary page. And just this blue collage, because after all, the cover was blue. Obviously did a little collage with some journaling space that I clearly stamped. I was using color coordinated um, <laughs> paper clips. Here's a thing out of a book, added a butterfly. This is a commercial um, journaling card couple of tickets because they're blue. This is just a melange of stamping that I did in about three or four colors. That's actually very nice. A blue card <laughs> just perched on top of the dic uh, dictionary page. rains look for rainbows when it's dark look for stars these are just dyed index cards with a wee bit of a scrap at the top that's the back oh so it's I guess I glued so two pockets one behind there one there so this is like a CD envelope but I must have glued, what did I do here? I must have glued that image just around the edge here. Oops. And again, that spring in the background. This is nice. I like that effect. <coughs> birds 
Oh, this is another one of those that I showed you in a recent video. Or not recent video, in a, in a flip video. This one is made with Atlas pages and is totally empty, just waiting for some further embellishment. Um, subtle stamping there. This is wrapping paper. Uh, believe. Bird's eye view. So I do have kind of a bird thing going on here. I wonder if this came out of a Kleenex box. Almost looks like it, doesn't it? This is wallpaper. This is a blue envelope. It takes courage to grow up and become who you really are. E.E. E. Cummings. That's uh, some nice stationery that I have. This looks, <laughs> it feels like alligator hide. Okay, this is a flop. It looks to me like this is a flap off an envelope that I glued down there and made a pocket there. Well, that's kind of clever, Hazel. This is another cute idea. These are gel prints. So they look like envelopes, but you can actually open them up and write on them. Why am I not doing stuff with a gel plate? This is nice, and I've got millions, literally millions of stamps. This is a napkin that I collaged onto something made of pocket. This is from a coloring book. Seam binding. Oh, and that, another napkin, that's a blue poppy. Um, I can't, well, maybe we'll see what, we'll see what this is when we get to the other half of them. Oh, and I had stamped, this is a, you can feel, feel by the serrated edge that it's a business card, you know, card stock for printing your own business cards. And I obviously stamped all over it. Did some sewing here, and oh, I must have seen someone do some straight and some zigzag and straight. Because I did it too. It's nice to see that I was using ink once in a while. I haven't touched ink for ages. So this is. This must be this. But why? I don't get it. Anyway, um, paper cluster, a pocket. It looks like I like to put my pockets up high then. Just a uh, Purple cabbage dyed index card, cute little tag, cute little collage. I remember those die cuts. I have two of those big four or five inch um, spine dictionaries, and one, well, I have three actually, two. I bought purposely because I thought I couldn't get enough of this big oversized books. And then the third one was a garage sale purchase that had that was damaged. So that's the one that I'm taking apart. That's pretty cute. Looks like it's too big for the pocket. Oh, I must have stuck it in sideways. Or maybe like that. Um, More dyed stuff, more of this. 
I sure don't re ever remember that. Dream. Oh, see, there, I don't know. Can you see that wave there? Yeah. This is definitely built on an envelope. And here's another pocket and more wallpaper. So, I have to say, I rather like this. How are we doing for time? I'd better stop there. Um, I will keep on uh, keeping on with these reveals, or these flip throughs, I mean, because I think it's, I think it serves a purpose both for you and me. Anyway, guys, thank you so much for joining me, and I will see you in the next one. Bye.